Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for a brand new video and another unboxing video. So I'm really, really excited today because inside of this box is a new drum. I am unboxing my first side snare. So what is a side snare? Let's talk about that really quick. The concept of having a side snare at the drum set is really, really simple. Essentially, all a side snare is, is a secondary snare that you can put off to the right or off to the left and have available to you for certain parts of a song when you want a different tuning on your snare. So in this case, my main snare is a 14 by eight. It's a pretty large snare with a lot of depth to it, a lot of air inside of it. And the side snare that I've gone with, the dimensions on this guy are gonna be 10 by 5.5. So as you can tell there right away, it's definitely a reduction in comparison to the main snare. There's some reasoning as to why I bought this snare, what I'm gonna be using it for. Uh, and then in this video, I'm gonna take actually some time to tune it on camera with you. And we'll actually get to hear what it sounds like later in the video, but I don't wanna do anything until it's out of the box. So before we go any further, let's check out what's inside. Oh my God, that's how many boxes is that, Lindsay? It's like three layers of boxes. So, this is the fourth box. <laughs> I feel like I'm being pranked, <laughs> you know? We had the Sweetwater box, then the exterior Black Panther box, then the interior Black Panther box, then this box inside of the branded box. I'm gonna be really careful with this next cut. I feel like we're getting closer to the snare, hopefully. Ooh. All right, let's lift it out. There it is. The final box is away for the final step. Wow, look at the case. Ooh, the case is really nice. So right away, check this out. We've got the Black Panther branding on this. I guess this is like a plush material. It's velvet? Here's your velvet. Wow, so we got a velvet case uh, with drawstrings and the Black Panther logo right there on the center of it, on both sides actually, which is kind of cool. That's really neat. If I was to ever tour and take this out on the road, I'd put it in some kind of either plastic hard shell or some kind of ATA environment. And inside of it, I'd probably layer this on top of it first, then put it inside of the ATA space or the, or the plastic hard shell or whatever, whatever I'm transporting it in. And the unveiling. Let's pull this guy off. Oh, it's getting stuck. Sorry, one sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So, there we go, guys. I give you the Mapex Black Panther Wasp. Okay, I'll read all this real quick. So the size is 10 inches by 5.5. The shell is a one millimeter seamed steel, a two millimeter snare bed with five, sorry, 3.5 inch width. Uh, then the edge is the Sonic Clear bearing edge at 45 degrees. I think I know, I know about the Sonic Clear a little bit. That's the uh, system that they have that is supposed to completely eliminate variations in the edge, in the rim of where the batter and resonance heads touch the actual rim of the drum. Mapex is really proud of this system that they've set up and the way that they've cut their bearing edge for the actual way that it falls and it's supposed to just make for a much truer tone. Um, so yeah, this is actually the first Mapex drum that I'm ever gonna own. Well, not ever gonna own, but I own so far. And I'm really stoked on that. I've heard a lot of good about Mapex. I've talked a lot about Mapex in my reaction to your guys' kits videos because I feel like Mapex is just one of these companies that you get such bang for your buck. And this is the first item by Mapex Apex that I'm gonna be playing around with and I'm really excited to have my hands on it. I'm gonna finish reading this and then I'll tell you about the decision to go with this snare specifically. So the lugs are double-ended B lugs, uh, two air vents. The hoops is the Sonic Saver hoops and then the sound, small diameter, bright. So my, when I came to the decision to actually pick this up, usually a lot of these unboxings are companies reaching out to me over email and saying, hey, Wyatt, do you want to check out this new product we've got coming out? And they'll send out the product and I'll check it out. But this, this one I actually purchased 
purchased for myself. It's kind of like a Christmas gift to me. I got it specifically for a song that I am working on. It's One by One by Bring Me the Horizon. So I want to cover that track. In the verses of that song, uh, there's a 808 pattern sort of uh, snare. And I want to use this for those verses. And I've always wanted to have a side snare, but it's just been one of those things, kind of like I said when I unboxed the Elisa sample pad. I said in that video that the big reason why I never got a sample pad was just because of how expensive it was over the years maintaining the main kit, like just the main pieces, replacing broken cymbals, upgrading or buying more sticks as they snap. And I never really had the excess funds to be able to justify the cost, but now I can and here's my first side snare. I'm so, so stoked on this guy. The other thing I was gonna mention was when it came down to the decision to go with this, there was two snares I was looking at. This was one of them. This is the uh, Mapex, as you guys know now, the Wasp. And then the other one was the Chad Smith Signature Series Acrylic Snare. And I loved both the concepts. I love the concept of this snare and I really love the concept of the Chad Smith snare. And I was really interested in the Chad Smith snare, honestly a little bit more so than this guy. And the reason why was because the Chad Smith acrylic, the dimensions were a little bit more along the lines of like a traditional snare. I think they were, it was a 12 inch snare instead of 10. So I could have used that as a main snare in covers in the future. As well, I've been admiring a lot of acrylic kits lately. Tobines, who's a friend of mine on YouTube, he plays the Pearl acrylic kit. Seth Drums, who's another friend of mine, he's a Twitch streamer who streams primarily drum content and he plays a pearl acrylic kit and then I saw in the latest Architects Animals video that Dan Cyril from the band is now on an acrylic kit and I just love the way acrylic kits look. I feel like something I really love about watching Tobines videos is the angle he uses is kind of like the Matt McGuire front on angle but you can see everything he's doing because you can see through the acrylic kit. It's so cool right like I can watch his footwork or at least I can see the beaters hitting the drum because you can see right through the kick drum and for for somebody who does the type of content that I create, that's a really cool concept because you can shoot from any angle and get some really interesting, really cool shots because the drums themselves are not really blocking the artist. They're just there completely transparent with the artist. And then of course, the if you were to take it to the next level, acrylic kits, you can add all kinds of like DMX lighting setups and have them change in time with the actual hits. I know that Seth does that. He's got some kind of DMX board where as he hits his drums, it'll change the light on the drum. It'll light it up a certain color. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with acrylic sets. So I was looking at getting the Chad Smith acrylic snare thinking I'll buy an acrylic set in the new year and then I'll have a, another snare that'll go with this beautiful acrylic set. And the big reason why I didn't was they don't actually make that snare anymore so I couldn't get my hands on it. And then I saw this guy and this for a side snare I felt like was a better option. I wanted something very high contrast in comparison to my 8x14 or my 14 by 8 DW collector series which is a maple snare. It's big, it's chunky, it's got a lot of air. This guy's the exact opposite. It's a composite material. It's made out of metal instead of wood. It's very small, very compact. I think it'll do a really remarkable job of complementing the tones that I already have at the set. So I'm so excited to get this tuned up and get it in some of my videos. And then the last cool thing that I noticed when I was checking out the snares was this snare, because of the size of it, it actually has a mounting system like a tom wood. So I could actually put this on a cymbal stand or a tom stand, like a tom mount stand, because I, I do have one. I have one of the double tom mounts by DW. It holds two toms and then a boom stand comes out of it for a cymbal. Right now I just have one tom mounted to it and a cymbal stand attached to it. And I could actually set this up with using that hardware that I already have. I could set this up and put it anywhere at the kit. As you guys know, if you saw my last unboxing video, I just got from Gibraltar a new snare stand that I'm gonna be using as my new main snare stand. And then I'm gonna take my Tama Road Pro snare stand and use it on this guy on the side. That's the logic, that's the thinking behind it. That's the reason why I went with this snare and I'm so pumped that it's here finally. It took some time too because when I contacted my sales rep over at Sweetwater, he told me that these guys have been sold out for a long time. So they had to special order it in for me. Sweetwater is always fantastic with taking care of you and taking care of your needs. So Jeff took care of me and he got the snare in and now here it is. I'm gonna take a second and change over this room so that I got the snare in front of me and we're gonna tune it up and take a listen to what it sounds like.
Okay guys, so I've taken a second and I did kind of a rough tuning on it. I've never actually tuned a drum this small before. Well, that's not true. I've tuned toms this small before, but I've never approached tuning a snare this size before. I think it sounds pretty good where it's sitting right now. I don't have any dampener on the batter head at all, but I have some moon gels right in front of me. So I'm gonna just play this guy for you real quick so you can hear what it sounds like with the little rough tuning that I threw on it. I basically just brought both heads up two turns, both rezzo and batter. And as well, I just kind of evened them out because there was a little bit of discrepancy between lugs. So I just made sure that it was as true as possible and tried to get out as much overtone. You're gonna hear it here, unprocessed. And then in that cover that I talked about, of course, you're gonna hear it again with my man, Chris Gazelle, mixing it into the rest of the kit. So I'm excited for you guys to check out here. And then of course, in that video. So here's what it sounds like with no dampening whatsoever. All right, now real quickly, I'm just gonna add one moon gel. Typically what I do with my moon gels, I like to cut them into quarters. So if I'm gonna use one moon gel for an entire drum, then what I'll do is I'll take scissors and cut the moon gel into four equal pieces. And then I will put in four corners of the drum, put those small little pieces. That way I'm not necessarily choking two lugs with one fat gel. I'm kind of distributing the dampening across the head a little bit more evenly. But for the sake of, time right now in this video. I'm just gonna take this guy and plop it down about an inch away from the rim on the top of the drum. And then we're gonna listen to what it sounds like with a little bit of dampening on it to cut some of that resonance because it's really going for a distance right now. So here's what it sounds like with a moon gel added. All right guys, so there you have it. We've come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and brief test with the Mapex Black Panther Wasp snare drum. I'm so, so stoked to try this out in that upcoming video that I talked about and I cannot wait to find other applications for this guy in future covers and future originals that I'm working on. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Maybe leave a comment down below as to what you thought of the snare and some cool applications that you could think of it for the future. If you wanna pick up this snare them for yourself i'll leave product link down in the description below i also want to leave a huge huge thank you to all the names on the screen right now these are the names of my incredible patrons who really make videos like this one possible so thank you to all my patrons thank you guys for checking it out and i will see you all very soon with something new